You walk around Levi Stadium on game day, and you can, of course, see people wearing jerseys from all different eras of 49er history. And a new star is rising in quarterback Brock Purdy. The 49ers team store in Santa Clara is rushing to meet the demand for his jersey. And as South Bay reporter Jesse Gary tells us, it is all good for business. NFL playoff football fueling a seemingly insatiable appetite in Santa Clara and beyond. 49ers fans milling about the team's store and snapping up merchandise ahead of Saturday's first round playoff game against Seattle. Wearing that jersey, you feel like you're part of the team, the excitement is there. Amid a sea of player jerseys tantalizing true followers, Brock Purdy's number 13 is in short supply, at least for women's apparel. Well, I was really coming down to get uh, a, Pur a Purdy jersey for my wife, but they didn't have them. Once dubbed Mr. Irrelevant, Purdy's early sub-success solidified him as a star against Tampa Bay. The supply of blank jerseys typically kept on hand were used mid-season to make number 23 jerseys once Christian McCaffrey was traded to San Francisco. So, no blanks to fill in with Purdy. We were able to really react and we were messaging one another during the game as it was happening and saying, uh, we think Purdy's gonna, gonna be an established starter for us. We were pressing jerseys here in house for what blanks we had available. That was in December, and a month later, there's still a lag with supply keeping up with demand. It's a problem of too much of a good thing, and big money hangs in the balance. Sports merchandising is globally about $30 billion. Professor J.W. Stewart says part of that pie will be seen as the 49ers play in the NFL postseason tournament. The Niners' embarrassment of too many stars and too few ready-made jerseys serves as a cautionary tale for other teams. I think if the 49ers keep winning and Purdy continues to play the way that he has, we could see a few more uh, delays in the supply chain. So those faithful to the team may need to be patient with it as well, as winning creates all kinds of unanticipated problems. In Santa Clara, Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 Sports. A reminder, the only place to see the wild card matchup, Seahawks-Niners, right here on KTVU. Kickoff tomorrow at 1.30 in the afternoon.